Hey everybody, it's Josh from Collection DX back once again with another video review. This time we are talking about the brand new GX45 Soul of Chagokin Mazinga Z. Um, this is the first, well, no, actually, it's not the first. Um, Twinami and Bandai are now teaming up to bring uh, Tamashi Nations items to the States. This is the first uh, Chugokin um, to come through uh, retail for this. They had the exclusive last year, the um, the the metallic uh, getter robo. But no, this is um, this is the first deal. This is you can it's authorized, and you know you can get it at you know your favorite you know toy store, big bad toy store, entertainment or things like that. You know. You don't have to pay a ton of shipping. Okay, so that's that's a pretty cool thing right there. So you like yay? This what the world needs is another Mazinger. Well, in Japan, um, they just had a brand new Mazinga television series. It's called uh, you know like Shin Mazinga Z on television or something like that. It's basically you know a, a new Mazinga Z anime, and this of course with any new anime you get a slew of new merchandise and you know we get the back trail so yes there have been a few Soul of Joker Mazinga Z's yes there will be a few more Soul of Joker Mazinga Z's but this is an all new item and it's pretty revolutionary in its design I mean it looks like yeah just another Mazinga Z but they've really done a lot of cool things with this new design and we're gonna show a few of those cool things to you right now Okay, so for some comparison, here is the, the new Mazinga Z. And here is the first Soul of Shilgokin Mazinga Z. Okay, uh, so for one, obviously there's some stylistic differences, cause, but they are from two different source materials. Um, you can see that the new one is shorter. Um, it's got slimmer proportions. It's not as... Um, bulky uh, as the other one but there are a lot of other differences that really show how far um, the manufacturing has come and I'll, I'll go over a few of those right now one is uh, the, the hover pile though. this old one in, the old, in this guy is uh, is pretty rubbery the wings don't fold down it's just like a piece of it's like a gosh upon this one here is um, hard plastic, nice detailed clear cockpit, the wings fold up and down, very nice. Uh, only one joint in the head, this here has a big swivel neck joint. So I mean, you can see what the, the differences between the two, and just some for some nostalgia. Uh, remember putting the uh, stickies over the screw holes? <laughs> that was fun to do. And uh, if you remember this first Souls Gokin, you had to actually assemble those forearms. They came on spruce and you had to stick them together. Um, on this original guy, yeah, you got metal legs and body, but the thighs are die cast. Uh, it's just kind of clunky. I mean, it still looks good, but I mean, what were they thinking with the blue legs and arms? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. They did make an R version, GX01R, but uh, I don't have that which I thought I did and I can't find it so maybe I don't have it so but what I can show you is a few years later they moved on ahead and did a uh, an, uh, an OVA version Mazinga Z this OVA version was uh, from the Mazen Kaiser OVA uh, that had come out and geez, that was mid 2000s I'm, I'm not I don't even remember exactly definitely different proportions whole different beast but um, you could see where the design elements uh, appeared with the uh, the angular middle of the chest, the the more grid-like uh, uh, breast fire plates, the all black and silver design. So that was like kind of like the first modern reboot of Mazinga Z, and um, it's pretty good. But still, it's got the plastic thighs. It doesn't really do anything. Um, you know, the articulation is kind of limited. It, it was what it was, and it was good. Um, it has this, this joint was really bad. Remember that? that? This thing just kind of flips over all the time. So, 
here we go. This is the, uh, what is this, the 35th anniversary of Mzinga Z. And we got this all new bad boy. So what's so great about him? Well, a lot. If you don't have a Mazinga, this is the one I think you want to start out with. Unless you have a lot of money, then you can go for the uh, Urban Material to go get, which is only like 20 grand, you know. Alright, so you can see the head. We've got um, double jointed uh, neck. One, there's a, one of the little flaws I found is the pill that doesn't you know, stay on too good. It just kind of falls out easily. So it's a little on the loose side. That might be a little bit of a pain. Arms are good, pretty standard, SOC fair, cookie, you know. They have the magnetic uh, joints. The elbows are kind of different. This is a new thing, if you can see them. Um, they look like they're solid, but as they bend, there's a little plate. And so there's actually like a, a dual joint there, but yet still the arms just kind of constricted to that point. So I, I kind of don't, you could have done that without the pad, so I don't know what the deal is with that. But it's cool, whatever. Um, chest is uh, on a, a nice ball joint, look at that. And, and it also twists and shouts. So that's cool. Now, where a lot of the revolution comes in is down here in the waist. So uh, you have you you have a standard articulation, but this allows some more by having some pop out uh, joint work. So you can pull down, and what that allows you now to do is to have a, a better range of motion for the leg, which is pretty wild. Something else too. I don't know if it's supposed to do this, but check this out. There's another joint there. Doesn't really do anything. So I think it's a design, maybe a design flaw, but. It doesn't affect anything, it just doesn't look like it's supposed to come out. Same thing with the feet. They come out and uh, give you a wider range of motion. And on the back, you get these cool leg joints. And so you get the first bit of compression there, but then what you can do is kind of push in on that tab a little bit, and it goes even farther. So this is their kind of gold standard for uh, articulation and what they're going to kind of go with moving forward as they release new things so, so I've read um, it can really strike some amazing poses when you when you kind of pull everything out I mean that's a pretty hardcore kind of pose there oh, of course I'm being kind of retarded here but you know you can see that you can do some really cool stuff with it you can do the kneeling leg pose You know, that, that works fine. So it's very cool. It is very well articulated. It's very clicky. It's fun to fiddle with. It feels like a toy. Uh, and you can hear it. Sounds good. Nice and heavy. Very awesome. So there's that bit. So the next bit, of course, we have is the, uh, the Scrander. So the Scrander is the... Uh, wing attachment uh, from Zynga Z and um, you know they, they, he doesn't have wings that pop out he's got to call this and someone flies it out and it attaches to the back um, the old one had uh, a design that kind of swiveled back and forth which was a neat mechanical design but it ultimately left these kind of ugly scars lines on it so what they've done here is just done something really simple it's made the wings reversible so if you look at the wings, they do angle up, and in this mode, they are they come down to a nice point. These lines continue down really nicely, and with the you have to assemble this and these, so the, the tail and the wings. You open the little belt buckle. This little thing here it goes in. He looks positively badass with the wing on. He looks really great. I, I love it. Um, he looks awesome. What, what can I say? It, it just he just is so much more menacing and dynamic with that wing. He just that's the way you want to pose it. You know, uh, it's very cool. 
So, you want the flying wing now. Of course you want the flying wing. Who wants to see the flying wing? So, what we do now is we have to take these off. And they just pop right out. Okay. And all you do is you just flip it to the other side. Pop it back in. And then what you do is you just push these down a little bit. For aesthetics, really. I don't that's the only reason I can see why you would do that. Click them back in. And then you have them in his little flight mode there. And the cool thing about the double jointed neck is it allows you to kind of look them up a little bit. Huh? Cool. So, there is a stand, and the stand comes with a part. I'll go more in depth in the stand in a minute, but I want to show you this. This piece here goes in like that, and then there's a little, this thing, a little extra bit you clip on to there, and what that does is allow you to rest Mazinga on the stand. So if you wish to display him in a flying pose, you can. But wait, so there's more. We also have the uh, famous uh, rocket punch gimmick for Mazinga Z, and for that we get these extra arms, which look like so. They look a lot like the other ones do. A little long, they press a little button to launch here, and you see that fireman. Unfortunately, you can see better here. Look where the pin is. You can't really like. So it's a pain to grab and, and shoot. You kind of have to like uh, get that. There we go. So it can shoot, but kind of a pain. It shoots with good distance. Uh, and he has two arm, two firing arms, so you could conceivably shoot both of them. And then he could be like, "Where's my arms? They don't come back to me yet." Yeah, so, alright, uh, the last thing we'll show you is the options for the display stand, because it is wicked hot in here. Wicked hot! Alright, so, mentioned the stand, we had that before. So, we say you want to display uh, Mazinga without the jetpack on, but still on the stand. So, this stand piece is reversible. Goes like so. And they give you yet another attachment, which is this one. And I like to display it with the wings up, so I'll take those off. Switch them around. It's very sturdy. I love it. Very sharp, though, too. Watch your fingers. Okay. Watch those fingers. And they'll just sit there. Nicely displayed. Now, what we could do then is take our rocket punches, stick one there, uh, where's the other one, stick the other one here, the fists um, just pop out pretty easily, but they have a nice range of motion, but to mention that. There you go. Displayed Mazinga. He's kind of in a funky pose. He's got actually so much articulation that it's kind of hard to get him in the neutral pose because he wants to move every which way. But there you go. Um, also in the stand, if you want to, there's a little place to pop the hover pillar right there if you want. But there's no... Unlike the other ones where they give you a one to display and one to have in the figure, you only have the one. So, if it was just another Mazinga figure, you know, I'm just based on the same existing framework of the old SOCs, I would probably say skip it. I mean, I got so many Mazingers, you know. But this is a pretty interesting toy that that uh, is is better than probably the bazingers that you have. 
Whether it's worth it to you, that's up to you to decide. Is it a good toy? Yes. Um, do I think it's worth it? Yes. Um, and it's great that this is available domestically now. So if you want to support that, the idea of bringing these toys through domestic channels, um, you can also throw your support, show your support by picking one of these up as well. So that's it for this. Um, this is Josh from Collection DX. And we will see you next time. And I am going to go take a cold shower. Because it's very hot in here. Oh, get that mental image out of your head. Ugh, I don't know. Yucky. Forget about it. <laughs>